Okay, in this video we're going to look at the volume of a cylinder and how to calculate the volume of a cylinder. So, um, out of interest, you should watch the video, volume of a prism first of all. So the volume of any prism is the area of the cross section, so the area of the front of the cross section, times by how long it is. So if we've got a cylinder, okay, the area of the front is going to be pi r squared, because this is a circle, you do pi r squared to get the area of a circle. Then you times by how long it is. Now if I call that h, the volume would be pi r squared times h, or pi r squared h. Uh, this could be a cylinder laying down like this, or even it could be a cylinder which is standing up, okay? Please excuse my terrible drawing. That's not too bad, actually. Where h would be the height, and r would be the radius, okay? Uh, let's have a look at it, uh, two exam questions. We're going to look at one. We're going to have to work it out using a calculator and giving it to so many decimal places. And then uh, we're going to do one in terms of pi. So how to work it out exactly in terms of pi. Okay, so here's our first question. We've been asked to work out the volume of this cylinder. Uh, so as you can see, the cylinder's got a circle with diameter 9.2 centimetres. So the first thing you're going to want to do is probably in this question is to work out what the radius would be. So that's going to be half of 9.2. Well, half of 9.2 is 4.6. Uh, if you want to do that in your calculator and double check it, feel free to. I'd rather you use your calculator to half that number rather than if you're making a small mistake there, it's going to affect your whole answer. In this question, and perhaps say if it's using, uh, like as, um, you know, if there's other parts of the question, you might get those wrong as well. So half of 9.2 is 4.6. So we're going to get the area of the circle at the front, and then we're going to times it by how long it is. Okay, Or you could just use the formula straight away, which is volume equals pi times the radius 4.6 squared times the length which equals 25 and you could do that in one go I personally do the area of the front first of all so I do pi r squared I do pi r squared first of all pi times 4.6 squared I get that answer and then I do that answer times 25 and then that gives me my answer for the volume of the ship and um, I'm just going to use the formula here though okay so pi r squared so you're going to do uh, Pi, remember pi is, if I show you it on the calculator, pi is this button here. So you're going to do uh, shift pi times 4.6 squared times 25. So the volume of the ship equals 1661.902514 uh, centimeters cubed. Okay, I'm just going to round that to one decimal place. So to one decimal place, okay. It's going to be the volume equals 1661.9 uh, centimetres cubed to one decimal place. Um, notice it's centimetres cubed because it's volume. Okay, let's do one now in terms of pi. Okay, so here we've got a cylinder and we've been asked to find its volume in terms of pi. So, uh, obviously that means without a calculator. Uh, so the volume is going to be uh, the area of the top times by how high it is. Now, the radius of the top or the bottom is going to be, because the diameter is 10, the radius is going to be 5 centimetres. So you're going to get the area of the circle, which you can do pi r squared for the circle, and then times by 10. So you can either do that uh, individually or using the formula. So I'm just going to do it individually. So the area of the circle at the bottom would be uh, area equals pi r squared. So it's going to be equal to pi times 5 squared. 5 squared is 25, so you get 25 pi. So the area of the bottom, or the top, is going to be area equals 25 pi. Because the height of the whole thing is 10, you're going to times your 25 pi, the volume, equals 25 pi times 10, which is going to be equal to 250 pi. If you wanted to use the formula straight off, but the volume of a uh, cylinder equals pi r squared h. So that's equal to pi times the radius. Well, the radius again was 5. So times 5 squared times the height is 10. So you get pi times 5 squared is 25 times 10. And that equals uh, 250 pi as well. Remember units. Units will be centimeters cubed and centimeters cubed. So that's your answer, 250 pi centimeters cubed.